Sepsis is a common cause of serious illness, with a high number of suspected cases, hospital admissions, and deaths recorded each year. Sepsis causes rapid patient deterioration, so prompt diagnosis and initiation of antibiotic therapy are needed to avoid poor outcomes. However, sepsis symptomatology can look like that of other conditions. This can delay and mislead diagnosis and treatment. The NHS in England has introduced various screening tools to support early identification and standardized treatment of sepsis. Some screening tools have been embedded into electronic patient records, EPRs, to create digital alerts. Healthcare professionals can interface with digital alerts for sepsis and deterioration in a few ways, ranging from non-intrusive alerts to hard stop ones that require third-party overrides. There is a variety of digital alerts in use, but no validated one is available to NHS trusts. The Digital Alerting for Sepsis study is a multi-site mixed method study that aimed to explore the impact of digital alerts on patient outcomes and mortality associated with sepsis, as well as the experiences of healthcare professionals working with different digital sepsis alerts to identify barriers and facilitators of their use in NHS hospitals. We mapped the digital tools currently in use in acute hospitals in England. Most use simple algorithms based on legacy paper-based systems and are not taking advantage of rich data available in the EPRs. Many trusts are using algorithms which do not have a strong evidence base. The DIAL study research team aimed at answering the question, how effective is the introduction of digital alerts in terms of improving outcomes of patients with sepsis? EPR's data from over 600,000 patients based across multiple NHS hospitals were used. Our results showed that across all hospitals, the implementation of digital alerts correlated with a reduction in patient mortality associated with sepsis, with older people benefiting the most. By talking to healthcare professionals and observing their practice, we found that digital alerts, whilst useful, do not substitute the knowledge and experience of clinical decision makers. Healthcare professionals generally felt that the digital alerts could be improved by incorporating more patient data, as well as be better integrated across the whole healthcare system beyond secondary care. The study also found that digital alerts are more optimal in some hospital units for specific patient groups and for less experienced staff on general wards when supported by a 24-7 hospital emergency outreach team and when accompanied by quality improvement initiatives, continuous sepsis training and strong technological resources. A key advantage of the EPRs and the embedded digital tools is that screening and treatment can be readily personalized. The DIALS study concluded that tailored implementation of digital alerts is required beginning with a pre-go-live analysis that addresses individual organizations' needs and readiness. The rich data from EPRs is a vital source for identifying the need for digital innovation, developing and validating models, and evaluating interventions. We have shown that with detailed preparation and effective collaboration, we can establish results which support a wider understanding of the complex nature of preventing mortality from sepsis.